Alright, shall one? It's a brother from the GMS so I came back with another video. Before we go any further, and well, praise and glory to the Heavenly Father, it is only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Arkwadash, the Lawrence of the Elder Apostles, the Great Muslim, and Yishan, and the Warpsent Troop, and Warpsent Bar, and Well, in peace and blessings to the full of the nation of Israel, today, their spirit and power be by Shimon Shai. Yeah, you know, the lesson's gonna be titled somewhere or, or along the lines who's crying out for the Lord or who's standing up for the Lord in these last days, you know. Who's taking things seriously? Who's taking things as a joke? You see, because majority of our people, you know, it's July 4th. As, you know, brothers know this, you know, Saturday, uh, July 4th, uh, 2020, the year of prophecy. You know, I got a lot of jakes. You know, some people are doing this whole Juneteenth thing, all that stuff. A couple people, they're doing for the 4th, and they were like, well, we don't celebrate that around here. All because of this, you know, you know, what's going on in the news with this, uh, Black Lives Matters. You know, but you got some Jakes still celebrating these things, still taking the opportunity that they are off the work, the party, you know, and really just not see Yahweh by Shemel Shai, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son, who will come back, you know, in the end of days, gather the remnant, his elect, you know, and save them from this destruction. 200 million ICBM nuclear missiles. That would destroy America. This is, <clears throat> without further ado, I'm going to jump straight in. This is um, St. Matthew 24 and 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When this branch is yet tender and put it forth for leaves, ye know that summer is not. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. And what is that talking about? You know, when you see the prophecies start to pop up, you know, uh, then you know, you know, the Howard Shai is coming back. Howard Shai is about to make his second return, you know. But we're trying to be saved during that time when Howard Shai will make his second return. So what do we have to do now? We have to cry out to him. We have to cry on to him, you know. And by doing that, you're letting the Lord know that you want to be delivered, that you don't want to be partakers of the destruction that's coming to America. It says, Verily, I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of, the, that, but of that day and hour know of no man, know not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But these are the signs. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And you see that, you know, when you talk to Jake, you know, you know, amongst your family members, you know, they, they probably have cookouts today, you know, they're, forced, they're drinking, you know, a lot of people are trying to get laid tonight, you know, um, a lot of partying going on. You know, these are things that are going to be done in America, you know, and, you know, and these things are always being done. You know, they slow down because of this whole COVID-19 uh, thing going on. But people are still partying, you know, they're just not as much out on the bars. People are still having house parties and get togethers, you see. And these are the signs that will lead up to Yahweh Shai's second return, second coming. It says, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, you know, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So Jake is parting, you know, but those who repent, they're going to be watching for the signs, they're going to be watching for the prophecies, you know, but to those that don't repent, what what happened? They, they, were, uh, uh, they were destroyed. <coughs> They were taken away when that flood came. This is Luke uh, 13 and 3. I tell ye nay, but the step ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You know, and part of that repenting, you know, is starting to cry unto the Lord to, to seek after him. You know, to, to do videos. You know, once you get built up in the spirit, you know, to uh 
to go out there on the highways and byways and push this word, you know, to give diligence to make your calling and election sure. This is um real quick, this is um second chronicles seven and fourteen. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, you know, and part of that praying is you crying unto the Lord. You know, you're begging the Lord to come back. You're begging Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, to deliver you out of the hands of the wicked. And pray and seek my face. You know, you, you start seeking the Lord's face, which is this knowledge, which is the scriptures. And turn from their wicked ways, meaning to repent. Then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and will heal their land. You think how about Shemel Shai don't hear these uh, Black Lives Matter movements? You know, do you don't think the Lord hear these things? But what? Jake is not right to so the Lord. Isn't hearing them. Meaning what? He's not going to answer them. You know, because what? On the low, when they get done with their back, Black Lives Matter uh, uh, riots or protests, they're eating pork. They're eating all type of bombo foods. They're 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 partying. You know, they're worried about um, you know, continuing on in this America. You know, how did Jake tell me? Say this is uh, the that's not our Independence Day. You know, but but you want to stay here in America. This is Saint John, nine thirty one. That now we know that we are. Now we know that the Most High here, if not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of the Most High. And do of his will, him he heareth, you know. And the Lord has commanded us in these last days to cry unto him. This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto them, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, you know, being a people before it's a place. You know, the people make up the city. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh. And that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of that mark. Let's, let's read it. This mark in the blue letter. You know, it says, it says, mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. You know, so those with, with this mark, you know, the spiritual mark, they are going to be exempt from judgment. You know, I mean, what the judgment that's coming down upon the face of they're going to be exempt from these things. Why? Because they're crying out for all the abominations. They're crying out to the Lord about the GMO foods, you know, about the fluoride in the water, the chemtrails in the air, the philosophies that's being pushed upon our children, you know, the, the false doctrines that's being pushed across the four corners of the earth, you know, man with man, woman with woman. You know, how Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is constantly trying to kill us, you know, from, from a child up, you know, how our bodies are breaking down, how we have to work 24-7 uh, just to maintain in society. You know, we're crying out for all these wicked abominations. It says, I'm going to read it again, it says, And the Lord said unto him, the Lord's talking to the angel, Go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem, I set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of all the abominations that's being done in America and amongst our people. You know, we're crying out against those things, telling our people to repent. And that if they don't repent, we're asking the Lord to purge out the rebels, to, to put them to death. And to the others, he said in my hearing, those who aren't crying unto the Lord, those who are partying, you know, living their best life here in America, go ye after him to the city and smite. Smite means to kill, you know. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So when the time of judgment comes, the angels aren't going to have any pity. They're not going to listen to your cries. You see? You see that happening now. It's the beginning stages. Because Jake is crying. They're not crying unto the Lord. They're crying unto the so-called white man. He saw Edom for the Bible. They're crying unto their oppressor, you see? And let let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. <laughs> both maids and little children, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin in my sanctuary, and they begin as the ancient men that were before the house, you know? 
So those who know the truth are going to be judged first. See? And so both maid, little children, women, old men, they're going to all be slayed and put to death because they do, they're do. they not crying out unto the Lord. They're living their best life here in America. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. You see? So the house of mourning is, is best to be in the house of mourning right now. We are in captivity. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, you know, to be made a byword, a proverb, you know, reproach, you know, and to be subject unto payment. That's why we're in captivity. That's why we're cashing out, you know? So we're supposed to be in the house of mourning, you know? The house of feasting, that's the end. That's going to be your end. That's going to lead to your destruction. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 4. The heart of the wise, those that fear Yahweh by Shema Shai and those what he's about to bring on the earth. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. They hear the rebuke going out by the prophets. They hear the prophecies, you know, they can see them with their eyes. Really, they can't see them, you know, spiritually, you know. But something's going on in the earth, and Jake is still partying, you know. I'll close down this uh, uh, this scripture right here. This is um, this is Revelations uh, eighteen and four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her plagues." And that you, uh, of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. You know, this is when the, the Lord sends his angels back. You see, it's going to be an actual voice in the Hebrew saying these things come out of her. You know, but only those who want, you know, it's going to be made evidently clear, you know, through your works, you know, the things that you're doing down here on the earth in these last days, whether or not you're going to be partakers in this right here, you know. Those who aren't crying out to the Lord, when this destruction comes, you're going to stay here, you know. But those who are crying out, you know, Lord's will only be a part of the elect. We're going to get delivered, you see. It's very simple, you know. Cry out to the Lord, you know, ask for forgiveness, you know. Try try the best of your ability to heed the commandment by faith and you by Shema Shai. Lord's willing, the Lord will have mercy on us, you know. Those who truly believe, you know, that's what we're hoping for. But unto those who are partying. Living their best life here in America. Well, you can just stay here and get burnt up. So that I'm going to give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, The bonus of the other apostles of great most of teach them to more percent true before to the Bible well. In peace and blessings, so for like the other nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.